Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. It's Easter Monday and the world is still in Corona mode. That means just like last week I have to shoot a video for this channel here without going outside, which is doable. Easter time is also gift time. And no matter if you celebrate Easter or not, there is a link in the description below and that link leads you to a pack of light leaks, specifically the ones that we are going to produce in just a couple of seconds. And feel free to use them for whatever you like. So if you're just here to grab a free package of light leaks, then Go ahead, do so. But if you want to know how this technique works to maybe film your own custom light leaks, just keep watching. These are the things I'm using in this video. You see, nothing you necessarily have to buy for lots and lots of money. And that's the great thing about light leaks. With a little imagination, you can create really cool effects without running into financial problems. Okay, let's go. First, I need a black backdrop. In this case, I'm using super thick fabric, but if you do not have that lying around, just use a black jacket, a pair of black towels, or whatever you can find. Then it's time to prepare the camera. This is done fairly quickly. I simply put it on a tripod, take off the lens cap and then cover the lens with a yellowish sock that I found in my son's wardrobe. <laughs> so you can see it's absolutely allowed to go wild at this stage. Later I'll try out plastic gloves, a scarf and a sandwich bag. Well, theoretically we could start now, but it is still too bright in my office. The blinds don't really help either, unfortunately the only thing that helps is to wait. And when it's finally dark enough you can take out your flashlights and aim directly at the camera. And as I said, here you can let your imagination run wild. You can't really go wrong. The light leaks I like best are the ones that do not shoot straight into the lens, but that's a matter of taste of course. So now we managed to film some incredible looking light leaks. Wouldn't it be also nice if we knew how to use them? If you watched last week's video, you probably remember this little sequence here. Let's just use it again now. In the source monitor, I have already loaded a clip of light leaks and I have set the in and out points. Now I just drag this onto video track two and first track 2 covers our clips in track 1. This can be changed by setting a different blend mode for track 2. Now I simply pull my light effect into the right place and let it fade in and out. And that's it. That's our end result. Pretty. Isn't it? And that's how you can create your own custom light leaks. Not too complicated if you ask me. Just try it out, 
you'll quickly see it's good fun once you're into it. Okay, that's it for this episode. Feel free to share it with all your friends and family if you liked it, and stay safe. I hope to see you next week. Bye.